Oh, it's a female that Dobson's got. What's going on, Dobson? Disorderly intoxication, resist without violence. Step out of the car. I would like to have my attorney present. Nope. Step out of the car. Cooperate with the process, and everything will roll smoothly. I didn't do anything to cause disorderly intoxication. She had been identifying herself as an FBI agent and accosting patrons in front of the restroom. The bouncer physically removed her from the bar, and that's when the disturbance ensued outside. And she's got charges from multiple DUIs, battery on Leo, possession of cannabis, possession of marijuana, worthless checks. 13 times that she's pretending this is the first time, the way she's been acting. Absolutely. I'm right here, attorney. Sit down in the great chair. Sorry. I'm perfectly fine. I wasn't disorderly at all. This officer um, was upset because his friend told him that he didn't want me there because I was messing with his girlfriend. Listen to him. He's going to explain to you what's going on. You had to be physically removed from the bar. No, I'm guilty of dancing with a girl that was part of the owner's group. Okay, listen to what he's going to tell you. Listen, what I need you to do is take a deep breath. I did not know. This has nothing to do with driving. I wasn't this has doing nothing anything. to do with driving. I need my attorney. We just need to know what your alcohol level is. I need my attorney. Are you going to take the test or not? I want yes my or no. attorney. Do I not have a right to an Stand attorney? Up. I'll be back to get uh I would like my attorney. Walk. Obviously, you you're too intoxicated right now to go through with the process. You're going to be placed in here until you can I sober up. I am not up. obviously intoxicated. Well, you I refuse. Listen. I obviously listen. want my listen. attorney. Listen. 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 Don't move. All I did was tell you. Ma'am. No. Not You're not listening. You treated me like a common criminal. You're not as listening. As if I had no right to my attorney. You are going to jail. I think we are. Already, already here, ma'am. Guess what? You're going to hell. I got lawyers up the ass. That's fine. Listen to me. Bye. The handcuffs are fixing to come off. When they do, I want you to place your hands above your head. Do not get off the floor until you hear the door shut. Do you understand that? Mm. Do you understand that? Whatever. I have the right to an attorney. And he will be here. I'm coming for you. Okay. Check the speed. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. Put your hands on the counter and spread your feet. Gotta search him. It's acting a little weird to me. You came in with you 95? Listen. I haven't had fun yet. Stop banging on the door. Let's go. What's up? Where are we going? You're going to the holding cell. That's where you're going. Me and you? Oh, no, not me and you. You don't want me and you to go in there. Take your shoes off. Is this my shoes? Yes, your shoes. That's all you need to pants? take off. What will you need to take off your pants? Uh, I don't know. I'm asking you. Uh, Step in know. there. Are you a Step in there. Uh, I think he's just angry being here for an open container. I guess he doesn't think that's a crime, but it is. Hang on. I'm he's running his mouth it. way too much. He's getting me a little bit too aggravated, so he's going to go in there and sleep it off for a while. Huh? Relax. Maybe when he comes out, he'll be ready to go to the out. process, too. One of those nights. He came in with our night at the problem, right off the van, the Papa Tango van that brought him in. He wouldn't comply coming into the door. He continued to run his hey, mouth. Is that yours? Take it down. Take it down. Is he trying to hurt himself? No. He's just, no, he's not suicidal. Just stand right. Give me the shirt. Give me the shirt. This is my shirt. Give me the shirt. I want to give you this shirt. No, I want the one you took off. Then give me that one too. Give me the socks. Give me not a one. I don't want your clothes. Give me the socks. What else you want? Have I been telling you? No, you have not. 
You'll be banging on the window calling for me. That ain't chilling. Just now? That ain't chilling. No, I talked to this lady and that lady, and they told me, man, no, understand. No, stop it. What do you think, sir? You know? This is not right. You've been here an hour? You have five more to go. Okay, so that's what you tell so, me. So, a five more later, we'll talk. Oh, okay, but then tell me something. I, got I don't have hours. to tell you. You don't have no, to tell No, I don't. Me. But you got the right to tell him something? How do you know what I talked to the man about? How the hell? You don't move from here to Let's go. Here. I'm through with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with you. What is this chair, sir? I'm done with you. What is this chair? I am done with I you. you the chair. What is this chair for? Man, he's just not listening. He wants him to go this way, and he's not understanding that it works our way. This building here is our booking facility. I've worked for the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office now almost eight years. The last two years of it, I've worked booking two nights a week. I, I really enjoy it. You get to see uh, how people are when they first come into custody and what a difference it is even after 24 hours. How's it going, fellas? Just step right over here, guy. Right here, guy. Huh. What happened to you? Overdosed. Overdosed? Yeah, to wow. say the least. Well, how'd you cut your head? I don't know. You don't remember any of it? Nope. You don't remember when you were taking people with a bunch of different drugs, and most likely it was acid. They said I almost died from lack of blood, and I don't remember any of the rest. Well, the size of that gash on your forehead, I could see why. What's your first name? Scott. Scott? When was your last pain medication? A long time ago. All right, we're going to talk oh, to you inside, know. and we'll make a plan with you. According to the officers, he uh, was running around southeast Portland, no clothes on. He broke into a lady's house. She was home by herself. He uh, jumped through the glass door. He grabbed a stick of some sort and was hitting her with it. She was able to fight him off. Uh, neighbor saw it, came over and helped her, got him under control, and then the cops came. Uh, they took him to the hospital, had him checked out, and now he gets his, he'll spend a while in jail. So what's going on? I'm told that I hurt somebody somewhere along the line or something. I don't know anything about this. You don't remember don't breaking into somebody's out. house, br no. jumping through a big glass door? That's how you got all the cuts, was you jumped through the door. would possess me to do that. I ain't hurt nobody before. I'm a totally peaceful man. <laughs> Everybody that knows me knows that's what I fight for. <laughs> They're ready to talk to you. Six months ago, he came in for a similar charge, and. Here he is a year and a half later, and uh, at least 12 counts of assault, a couple counts of burglary and kidnapping. It's amazing how fast people spiral downhill when they're on drugs. Uh, this is a female that was Portland arrested her when they called in. Basically, she was uh, combative. She's in the back of the car yelling and screaming. So we're going to go out and make contact with the officer and see what's uh, going on. Hi. All right, Kimberly. You realize where you are now, right? Yes, sir. You understand you're in jail? Uh, thank you for your information. I'm satisfied, but yeah, I got my pants up. Okay, you're going to cooperate with us? A female this? officer's going to search you, all right? You don't have any drugs on you, do you? No contraband? You don't carry needles? I, in my purse, there's. In your I, purse, I, there's I, needles? Yeah, I've got ten minutes, yes. Are you using for diabetic or are you using for, inter, using for drugs? For drugs? What kind uh, of drugs do you normally take? Meth? When's the last time you used meth? Just a couple hours ago? All right. So what happened with her? Her ex-husband and her were arguing. She wanted money to buy meth. Um, they got in the car. He tried to call the police a couple times on his cell phone. She took the cell phone, threw it at him, cut his eye open pretty good. So the majority of it happened while they were driving? Yeah. With two young kids in the back? Right. Nice. So here he is, he's driving your truck, he's got your two young kids in the back. Because he was threatening to take me out to Gresham. He the hell out of me and wish I was dead. So the information that you wanted more money to buy meth, that's, that's not accurate at all? No. But you had smoked it earlier today? I shot him. 
He shot it, that's right. That, and he, that he gave me, but it's my choice. Today. Okay, he gave it to you? Yeah, but it's my choice. I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's why I was throwing a fist. We both were wrong. And it seems like you got you got to find a new boyfriend. Are the, is he the dad of the children? But as you'll see in my record, I mean, I've been to prison. I mean, I have all, you know, violent assaults and stuff. All, all, of our, all, all revolving around drugs? Yeah. No, there's one last five months for you. That's just one out of. I think there's you weren't doing drugs at that time. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Well, that's good. All right, let's go have a seat in the chairs. Wow. Two young kids in a car are fighting over uh, money for meth. She ends up throwing a video game at dad, busting his eye open. She gets brought to jail.